And we begin tonight with a horrific scene unfolding overseas. Eight bomb attacks targeting Christians and tourists in Sri Lanka and a ninth bomb targeting police. The series of explosions tearing through churches filled with worshipers attending Easter Mass. More than 200 people killed, hundreds hurt. Several Americans among the victims. And chilling images inside, people scrambling to help the wounded. A statue of Jesus spattered with blood. Explosions also devastating three luxury hotels. Witnesses say some of the victims were having Easter brunch at the time. And police launching raids, several suspects arrested. ABC's David Wright leads us off. The churches were packed for Easter Sunday when the explosions tore through them. A string of blasts, at least one by a suicide bomber, possibly more, targeting Roman Catholic houses of worship in Sri Lanka and high-end hotels catering to tourists. An Easter massacre. I heard the explosion and the roof collapsed on us, this man said. We took the children and ran. The images, just horrific. Church pews in splinters. A statue of Jesus Christ spattered in blood. Sunday services transformed into a triage war. As Sri Lanka's foreign minister put it, these bombings were coordinated to create murder, mayhem, and anarchy. It all started around 8.45 a.m. at St. Anthony's Shrine in Colombo, the capital, St. Sebastian's Church in Ngombo, and Zion Church in the eastern city of Batacoloa. Around an hour later, more explosions at three hotels popular with Western tourists in the capital, the Shangri-La, the Cinnamon Grand, and the Kingsbury. The Shangri-La's restaurant gutted, windows blown out. Then, this afternoon, two more bombings, including one at the Tropical Inn. Nine blasts in all. The news sent shockwaves through Easter services around the world. In Rome, the Pope expressed his condolences, noting that the attacks were especially horrific in that they targeted people gathered in prayer. The Archbishop of Colombo, even more blunt, demanding justice. Find out who is responsible behind this act and also to punish them mercilessly. Police had been warned 10 days ago about possible upcoming attacks. Tonight, more than a dozen suspects are being held in custody. Three officers died in one of the raids. The casualty numbers are truly staggering. In all, police confirmed more than 200 killed, at least 450 injured. More than 30 of the dead were foreigners, including several Americans. Just horrific images there. David Wright joins us now live from London. And David, police finding another bomb near the airport that luckily did not detonate. And there's a real fear of more violence. And because of that, the government had briefly shut down social media sites. That's right, Tom. They did that, hoping to thwart the bombers from coordinating further attacks. They've also imposed a dusk-to-dawn curfew and tightened security around hospitals. Although they do have suspects in custody, the worry is that there may be additional members of this terrorist cell still at large. Tom? The investigation's still ongoing tonight. All right, David, thank you. And here at home, police across the country increasing security at many churches just as a precaution. Additional officers guarding St. Patrick's Cathedral right here in New York where thousands were celebrating Easter Sunday. Police on alert following the attacks overseas. And just this happened just a few days after a man was arrested carrying gas cans and a lighter into St. Patrick's. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.